Controversial American security firm Blackwater is allegedly using the Philippines to recruit mercenaries. They're said to be operating on a former U.S. Navy base, and since they're not military servicemen, no laws are being broken. But some Filipino senators see it as an incursion. So let's get more on this from Dina Gusovsky in Washington. It's over to you now, Dina. Hi there. Well, we've been talking a lot about the United States having military presence bases in all these countries all over the world. And it seems that RT contributor and investigative journalist Wayne Matson has some more fascinating information for us about just that. Apparently, the Philippines is serving as a major operating base for one of the most controversial private military companies known as Z, also known as Blackwater. So what is Blackwater doing in the Philippines and... Who gave it permission to be there in the first place? Well, joining me to answer those questions is Wayne Matson himself. Thank you so much for being here. So what is Blackwater doing here, and who gave it the go-ahead to be in the Philippines? Well, as we're finding out more and more details about Blackwater and their connections with the CIA, we've also been told about a Blackwater subsidiary called Satel Solutions. Mm -hmm. And they operate a five-acre facility at the former U.S. naval base in Subic Bay in the Philippines, where, where they can train up to 1,000 uh, 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 private military contractors, including uh, 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 people from India, from Bangladesh, from Nepal, from Fiji, possibly from other, and the Philippines, of course, uh, for operations uh, in Iraq, Afghanistan, and other places where they're located. So this is a, uh, who gave them permission? Apparently, uh, it's against the Constitution of the Philippines to station foreign troops being private military contractors. Somebody's done an end running around the Philippine Constitution. Obviously, this was done with the permission of the president of the Philippines. Because some senators objected to this, right? Some, I mean, talk about that. Right. Some senators in the Philippines the objected. Philippines. They wanted to know more about this, uh, this contract. There's another U.S. contractor that's linked to KBR Halliburton, Dick Cheney's old firm, uh, that uh, has opened up a shooting range at, at the former U.S. Air Force Base at Clark Field. So we have a lot of U.S. military going back to bases that we used to run but were kicked out of after the uh, Corey Aquino took over from Ferdinand Marcos. But you also said that there are all these other training camps in Latin America, even on the borders of the United States itself. Why? I mean, why is there such a rush to train these contractors? Well, it's uh, obviously uh, one of the issues with using private military contractors is that they, uh, they're they far removed from inspectors general and from uh, the general uh, government accountability office and other people who look into their functions because they can claim, of course, that uh, their information is proprietary, they're a private company. It's a, it's a way to get around a lot of the oversight regulations in the government. So we find them uh, training Border uh, Patrol agents. We find them training U.S. military, special forces, and whatnot. So perhaps it's because they're not really held accountable as, as U.S. military personnel. Well, well, thank you so much for being here and for your insight, as always. We will continue following the story from here in Washington, D.C., but for now, I'm going to throw it back to you in Moscow. Thank you for that, Dina. That's Dina Gosovsky, our correspondent in Washington.